AFTS is go for launch. DC verify F9 is in startup. Falcon 9 is in startup. All ground side gas closeouts are complete. Stage one, stage LD, two, press for flight. LDs go for launch. T minus thirty. T minus twenty. Falcon 9 is configured for flight. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Just over T plus one minute into flight, we're hearing nominal callouts. The Merlin engines have throttled down in preparation for passing through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Vehicle experiencing maximum aerodynamic pressure. A minute and a half into flight. We're through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. The Merlin engines are throttled back up to full power. Trajectory performance continue to look nominal. Engine chill has begun. You hear the call out, MVAC chill has begun. Liquid oxygen Vehicle's now on top of the turbo pump for the second stage engine, chilling it in as we prepare for stage separation and then ignition of the upper stage engine. Next major event coming up in less than 30 seconds is going to be main engine cutoff, shutdown of the nine Merlin engines, followed by stage separation and ignition of the second stage engine. T plus three minutes and 15 seconds into flight, a good stage separation, ignition of the upper stage engine, next event coming up. In about 15 seconds, fairing separation. Fairing separation. T plus three minutes, 50 seconds into flight. 
You saw a good fairing separation. We heard confirmation over the countdown net. Second stage engine continues burning. This will go until about T plus eight minutes and 38 seconds, at which time we would have shut down in a parking orbit around the Earth. Second stage engine is on the first of two planned burns. As I said, the first one will put us in a parking orbit, followed by a second burn about 27 minutes into flight that would put Inmarsat into a geostationary transfer orbit followed shortly afterwards by spacecraft separation. Performance continues to look nominal on the upper stage. Chamber pressures look good, engine looks good, trajectory looks good. T plus five minutes into the flight of Falcon 9 carrying Inmarsat 5F4. Performance continues to be nominal. We're heard heading currently east out of Complex 39A at Kennedy Space Center, heading for the first parking orbit, which will be followed by a second burn at about T plus 27 minutes into the transfer orbit. We'll be covering both burns and spacecraft separation during the webcast. T plus six minutes, performance continues to be nominal. About two and a half minutes left in this first burn of the upper stage engine. As a reminder, in webcasts in the past, we've also been watching first stage at this time. But in this case, without landing legs or grid fins, the first stage is not being targeted to return to land or the drone ship. So today, we're staying with the second stage all the way to orbit. Second stage continues to follow the nominal trajectory. T plus seven minutes in the flight. MVAC engine continues working. Everything continues to look good for Falcon 9 headed to the low Earth parking orbit. T plus eight minutes into flight. We're just over half a minute away from the planned shutdown of the MVAC D engine on the second stage. Trajectory looks nominal. Propulsion continues to look nominal. And when we get shut down, we'll wait and listen for the call from the guidance engineer letting us know how the orbit looks.
indicate positive signal expected. Review to track the mountain. We've had shutdown of the upper stage engine right on time. Trajectory looks good. It looks like we have a good parking orbit. So this completes the first of two burns of the second stage engine. Now we're currently going through a coast phase. Is the second stage with Inmarstat still attached? Coasts around the Earth, over Africa. We will reacquire telemetry and follow the second burn of the upper stage engine. That'll be at about T plus 27 minutes. So the plan right now is we'll continue the webcast, but we'll come back with status updates starting at T plus 26 minutes. And in the meanwhile, we'll leave you with this view of the animation the second stage heads towards Africa, successfully into the low Earth parking orbit, preparing for the second burn of the upper stage, coming up in just under 17 minutes and 10 seconds. So with that, that'll end our commentary. We'll be back at T plus 26 minutes. You might hear the applause in the background. MVAC engine has relit. This is the start of about a one minute burn. You can see from the velocity meter on the screen, we're adding in thousands of meters per second to bring the Inmarsat spacecraft from the parking orbit up to the desired geostationary transfer orbit. As I said, this burn will last about a minute total. Then we'll wait and hear how the orbit looks. Tank pressures are looking good. Propulsion is nominal. Trajectory looks good. Maybe go. We've had main engine cutoff. We're waiting to hear, we've had SECO, I should say. The MVAC engine is shut down. We're waiting to hear from guidance how the orbit looks. It's a good transfer orbit. You heard launch director call out just now, a good transfer orbit. So that completes the second of the two planned burns of the upper stage engine. You can see the nozzle now cooling back down to the background temperature of space after it burned for the one minute to add enough velocity to move us into the desired transfer orbit. Now spacecraft separation is currently planned for just under T plus 32 minutes. So we're gonna pause our coverage for the moment, but we'll be back for the deployment of the Inmarsat spacecraft uh, just before T plus 32 minutes. We've had confirmation of spacecraft separation. Uh, looks like, unfortunately, we were not able to bring the video to you, but we did hear the voiceover from SpaceX Launch Director out at uh, Launch Complex 39A. So that's going to bring an end to our webcast. It's been a great afternoon evening out at Kennedy Space Center. We counted down with excellent weather, launched right on time. The first stage did great. The second stage went through two burns just as planned. And now we've topped it off with the separation of Inmarsat 5 Flight 4 spacecraft for our Inmarsat customer.